spray with aloe herbs and rose water and this is what it looks like can you see i got this from ik house i'm going to moisturize and prime my face with the ellipsis labs hyaluronic makeup primer this is what it looks like it does an okay job of keeping my face moisturized So I'm going to do a red eyeshadow look today and just brush, the, brush my brows upward. I'm so excited for Halloween you guys. I love dressing up. Eventually I'd like to cosplay which I think is so cool. I'm using the Nika K Eyebrow Duo with the pencil and the mascara. I'm not using the mascara, but this is what it looks like. It's in black. brow does not behave but like I keep saying eyebrows are sisters not twins so we're just gonna blend with the spoolie Radiance Cocoa Butter Cleansing Wipes. because the letters are too small but it's the brow bar true glam brow makeover kit and I'm just going to use the gel I left most of the gel on the tip to get this part and then I'm just using the rest to bring it over
the same brush to fan out and cover my lid. <coughs> a couple of times <laughs> I didn't realize how much I said um during my regular conversation I brought it to my own attention and to your attention if you watched it how many times I actually said um so if you can guess how many times I said um I will shout you out on Instagram all you have to do is comment the number that you guessed and your Instagram handle and if you get it correct I will shout you out doesn't matter how many people do it. Whoever guesses it right is the one, are the ones who are going to get the shout out. So anyway, I'm gonna set what I just did with the Fairy Tales Storybook Cosmetics in the shade Nottingham. This is so cute. I got this from Boxy Charm. It's like a storybook, but it has eyeshadow in it and a little mirror. I'm gonna use this color, this shade here. It's called Nottingham. This is really cute, and I like this green, too. Anyway, set what I just did lightly. I'm not doing that much. Going in with the Artisan Color Baked Blush in Warm Berry. I believe I got this from Dollar General. And I'm also going to go in between this and the Fruit Punch, well, the You Can Be Fruit Punch palette in that red shade. I'm going to use this one as well. So I got this from Amazon. I'm going to go in with a rounded fluffy brush. But I'm just going to. Okay. Usually when palettes aren't that pigmented, you could use a white base, <clears throat> and that will help bring it out more. But I'm just going to use what I, well I do have white, but I don't want to use white, I want to use what I have on now. So I'm just basically doing small circular motions in and a little above my crease. I'm going this way. Well, counterclockwise here so I can bring it out and I'm going clockwise coming from this way and then my lids I just usually sweep it
Now I'm going to go in with the same shade and do the same thing on the other side. Have any of my viewers cosplayed before? If you have, <clears throat> comment below. I'd like to see some photos if possible. That would be cool. I'm definitely going to go in with that berry shade. I'm going to use a flat, small brush. And I'm just going to dab it on my lid. I'm going to go in. Take some onto my brush. This is actually blush, if I haven't mentioned it before. And I'm basically just putting it on my lid. brush with the leftover knotting ham I'm not gonna go back into the knotting ham I'm just gonna blend out just gonna blend out the edges of this red Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in the shade 330. And I'm going to apply this today with a brush. I'm going to use this brush. And it's basically a, I guess a flat but fluffy brush. I'm going to use it to apply my foundation. my beauty blender 
all over my face. Conceal our under eye, and I'm only gonna do that. I'm gonna take the same brush from earlier. Oh no, I'm not, it's got red on it. I'm gonna clean that brush off first, <laughs> and it's no more red. I'm just gonna pop that in there. Spun loose base powder in naturally neutral, and I'm gonna mix that with the Fanta Luxury powder in the shade number four. This is like a yellowy, and this is like a tannish, and I'm gonna mix the two together. And I'm gonna set my face. With, well, I'm gonna set my under eye with that. Oh, that should be good enough. Just put some of the air spun into the air spun cap and I'm sprinkling some of the Fanta reasonable amount about an even amount of both I'm going to use this brush here it's a pointy fluffy brush I'm going to use the back of that brush to mix the two together that's good enough for me like completely blurred out my baggies, my pocket bags. I'm just gonna leave that there for a little while I highlight the rest of my face. I'm gonna start with my chin first. That's it. Under my bottom lip, it makes the bottom lip look 
bigger or more full when you put some under. And I'm also going to do a little over my top lip and Cupid's bow. Just a little here. Just to give my eye and my face a more of a shape. This is basically the brush that I use for buffing out any harsh lines, getting rid of highlighter if it's too much. I'm just going to take this powder off and I'm going to put some under and a little there. a tapered round brush. brush I'm going to use. It's rounded and fluffy. I'm going to use this brush for my cupid's bow. Well, the rest of my face. And the, I don't usually do the brown here, but as you can see, it's making my top lip look more pouty and more full. I like that. With the Per Cosmetics Sculptor, 
it's a highlighting contour palette and I'm gonna use this one and a little bit of that one Take that same brush that I used to blend out my contour, and I'm gonna go back in there with that same light brown shade, same light brown shade, and I'm gonna set this as well just to warm my face up a little more. Like I said, I'm not a traditional vampire, so I don't want to be pale, I want to be yellow. <laughs> nose is a little too brown for me <laughs> so I'm gonna buff that out in a little brushing some of this away it's a pretty vulgar gel eyeliner flat and brush Take the same brush that I used for my concealer. This is the same brush that I used earlier for my brows and to get my highlighted areas. I'm just gonna buff out this here. do is go back in with that leftover red shadow Tiny rounded brush. I'm going to blend and smoke out that red.
top lip and that brown right above it really you know my top lip I believe is a white girl's top lip and I have a black girl's bottom lip so now it looks thicker but before I did that it was like <laughs> do is set my face first with the Milani, uh, Milani Make It Last 16 Hour Rare Matte Finish. Like I said, I love a matte finish. I'm going to be picking it up. It might help, it might not, but I'm going to shake the spray up anyway. lashes with the it superhero mascara i got this from the foxy charm subscription it's in the shade black it's the simple coat i really like this mascara anyway it really defines my lashes and i don't even have to use that much it separates them really nicely Going in <coughs> with the tart. Don't mind that, that's makeup right there. But this is the tart highlight palette. I'm gonna use the shade. I would usually use jewel, but that's gone. That's like a goldish highlight. This is a lesser gold highlight. This shade is compass. This is the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. Oh, this is an eyeshadow palette. Okay, well, I'm using eyeshadow for highlighter today. Who says you gotta use stuff for what it's for? <laughs> Angled, fluffy brush. Get under my brows. Uh, <clears throat> I like my highlighter under my brows come out a little bit like that yeah ooh that is beaming to the inner corners. Now I'm gonna take my stippling brush. And get my chin. I don't really like highlighting my chin, but I still do it for the sake of to the tutorial.
this berry and lightly coat my blush brush. give myself a flushed look basically <coughs> excuse me over the bridge and lightly under the eyes across the cheek area This is already highlighted enough. I think that's just me trying to convince myself that I don't need any more highlighter. <laughs> I'm gonna set my face again with that Milani. Now it's time for the lashes. I do not have the packaging for these lashes. But I believe they're by Color Spell called Aquarius. They're so cute. They fan out. They fan out. They get from short to longer. If you can see, I use some ear glue today. By the way, I got these lashes from Family Dollar, and they were two dollars. Now I'm just going to press my lashes up against the false lashes. It helps them to blend more. And I don't know if y'all can hear my stomach, but I am hungry. I did not eat breakfast. I did bring breakfast, but I just didn't eat it yet because I just wanted to get this joint done. I was excited. I skipped breakfast. Well, I didn't skip breakfast. It's gonna be the Nika K Matte Silky Stick in black. I got this from iCake House. The LA Colors Eyeliner in Black. Is it sharpened? Sharpened enough. Okay. I'm going to take a flat, rounded I guess, it's not rounded, it's flat. I'm going to take a flat, whatever, brush, <laughs> and I'm going to go in with the Nightingale palette by Pretty Vulgar. This is what it looks like in the shade All Nighter. And I'm going to get some on my brush. And I'm not going to tap off. I'm going to mattify my lipstick by going over it and setting it with black eyeshadow. Oh, I almost forgot. 
forgot to highlight my ears. I usually just get some highlighter and go around like that. And it highlights itself basically. Just to make my ears look a little more defined to bring the whole look together. Move! I mean, even though this side is going to be covered with hair, I'm still doing it. I'm going to take the same brush that I used to do my brows. I'm going to take the Pretty Vulgar Gel Eyeliner. what I used for my lips and smoke out that black. I'll be back with some slowness. Oh, well,